Hello, welcome to the Blessing Report. In this video, we are covering should Christians celebrate Christmas, the origins of Christmas, um, trees, decorations, gifts, and should Christians celebrate Christmas? And comment below, do you think it's a pagan holiday or are we good to go? I want to hear from you. Let's get to the show. All right, we're going to start with Jesus was not born on December 25th. Most likely Jesus was born in the summertime or the springtime with historians going as late as September, but it's agreed upon that the date is not December 25th. And we see this with the origin of his birth. There was not enough room in the inn and his manger was in the stables. So Mary, Joseph, and Jesus were among the animals in the stable. But we see that in herding and shepherding patterns in the time that the animals would not be inside in December because of the weather patterns. So for them to be inside, Jesus would have to be born in a different climate at a different date. So where does December 25th come from? So quick definitions because people like to use uh, Christmas is a pagan holiday, but what does um, pagan mean? Pagan in the Bible simply means non-Jewish or extended to non-Christian. This is different from um, polytheism, right? Which poly means many, like polyamorous, many wives, many spouses, and theist meaning God, like theology, the study of God, or a theist, a person who believes in God. So this is why the uh, Christian community calls the uh, holiday pagan because all of it literally comes from the worship of other gods especially the sun god with the date coming from the winter solstice and festivals stemming from polytheism and you know, being in December 25th because that's when their sun god was born so in other polytheistic um, religions we um, see it in Horus in Egyptian culture, he comes around 3000 BC, Mithra, Persia, 600 BC, Tomas and Babylon, 400 BC, uh, Krishna in India, 90, uh, 900 BC, and Greece, 200 BC, Buddha uh, in Nepal, 565, um, Greece with Apollos, all of them born December 25th. So how did Christians become to believe this? So this is where um, the meshing of um, the Catholic Church and Roman Catholicism moving all the days to just match what was happening at the time. So this is where we um, have the Sabbath being moved from Saturday to Sunday um, in an effort to manipulate uh, polytheistic culture because uh, Catholicism was the major religion in the time, in the area, and what they would do is just Christianize or Jewanize um, the people because the Roman Empire was moving um, anytime they were conquering an area instead of converting they would just mash it all together and this is where the worship of the Sun God comes because of Sunday right and so um, polytheistic worshiping the Sun God they were also worshiping the Sun God during the winter solstice which is December 25th which is now Christmas because of that um, Judaism Judaizing and Christianizing of the um, time period. Also, Christianity was a new religion and had a small set coming out of Judaism. So it was an effort to um, kind of enculturate um, the people into the um, Christian culture because of Constantine being the major emperor of the Roman um, Empire at the time. So Christmas is actually the winter festival of Saturnalia, which um, came from December 17th and extended until December 25th and was a feast. And the Roman um, Empire just was worshiping like the planet um, Saturn, which is where we get Saturday from, right? Still polytheistic and um, pagan in nature. So where do... Um, Christmas trees come from. So this comes from Nimrod. Again, um, these other guys, it was believed that um, he was cut and his blood went and landed on a rock and an evergreen tree grew overnight. And he was the sun god at the time. So again, where does like mistletoes and ornaments and wreaths come from? 
So this comes from um, the belief that the winter and like trees and nature's were God, right? And the idea of death um, in like also Scandinavian, Scandinavian culture was very uh, great in the area. So light um, was to be worshiped because it symbolized life. And so mistletoes and wreaths and lights, like Christmas lights, they are all supposed to ward off death, darkness in the winter because these were also forms of God in polytheism, pagan culture. So the tree, just like um, in the story of Nimrod, was considered to be like life-giving tree. And this is also where we get the star on top of the tree, all right? So again, we have like um, pagan Celtic and Scandinavian culture making for Christmas. So Saturn was considered a heavyset man um, with a white beard known for riotous fun and partying. Where does that come from? Santa Claus, it sounds pretty familiar. But Saint Nicholas was a real person. He was born in the third century um, Turkey to a very wealthy family. And his story is really great and bad at the same time because um, when his parents died with his inheritance, um, he was in a Christian family where he gave um, affluently. So much so that his life became uh, folklore. So. He lived in Myra and he was a bishop there where his generosity was widespread and uh, so widespread um, with the gospel that these became like intermingled with the reality of who he was and then the folklore of who he was. So even there was a story of a couple who did not have enough money to pay dowry to get married. So he just threw um, a bag of money into their house and it happened to land in the stockings because the stockings were hung by chimneys to dry um, in these like cold wintry wet um, areas or whatever and this is where we get like stocking stuffers from but he was just simply a very generous Christian man who had devoted his life um, to the gospel so he gave like all of his inheritance um, to the poor and less fortunate. He actually became imprisoned and exiled by the Roman Emperor Diocletian because Christian persecu um, persecution was really great at the time. And there were so many like bishops and um, Christians in the actual prisons that they actually didn't have enough room for actual criminals or whatever. And so um, his generosity was so widespread that he received his own day in Europe, which is um, December 6th. Um, and this is where um, his folklore really came into place because of the poem, The Night Before Christmas. So this is where like Saint Nick came from. But the story of Santa Claus actually comes from Scandinavian tales of Beowulf, um, where people believe that um, this Santa figure was a demon. And in the um, story, he would come visit children and kind of like kill them. And this is where you get the red fur because he was believed to be like this bloodthirsty red fur demon that usually you would tell the story to scare children to behave. And this is how much Christmas was not a um, Christian holiday um, that the Puritans actually banded um, the holiday of Christmas in 16 uh, until 1647 by the Church of England but then um, it got like unbanded so Saint Nick was known as like Odin in like Greek mythology um, so Christmas was associated with like riotous living and debauchery drinking, um, greed, consumerism, and hey, that's not really far-fetched from like the American Christianity that we see right now, right? And so those are the um, origins of um, Christmas and where it comes from. And most likely, I'm not really a fan of celebrating Christmas, but I'm not really against it either because of the consumerism, capitalism, materialism, and the greed. But, um, 
explicitly the Bible doesn't say like, hey, don't celebrate Christmas. But the Bible does say do not argue about like holy days and festivals. Um, but it also does not give us apathy to be like lazy or apathetic about, hey, we can just celebrate it. Um, when in reality, just because it's a tradition does not mean that uh, we have the green light for it, right? All right. And um, lastly, I'm pretty wary about why so many Christian holidays have like counterfeit idols. Like, where's the Buddha bunny? Where's the Ramadan reindeer? Where's the Sikh Santa? So I'm also really mindful of like, hey, why is this only a thing in Christian culture? Where's like the paganism and the polytheism coming in? And where are these idols coming in to like shift the focus uh, from Jesus? So will my um, kids celebrate Christmas? Nah, but do I give gifts to my family and friends? Um, yeah, or whatever. I don't really think it's a big deal. Um, just by the numbers, um, holiday season leading up to like Christmas, Thanksgiving, all of these um, traditions, they actually have the highest gross like per capita um, of giving, right? So people are being very um, generous. Also when it comes to church attendance, um, Easter, Christmas are literally the Super Bowl um, in the Christian faith where the most non-believers, the most backslidden people, and the most like lukewarm Christians will actually come um, into um, church walls, right? So am I going to shun an opportunity to give the gospel? No. And um, we also need to account for more people actually inviting people to church during these times because of the different plays, the different like activities that um, happen during the time. So um, in closing, I just personally believe Christmas and just other holidays in general um, are a tool that we use. But if we're really honest, I think it's an excuse for us to do things that God already commands us to do. The Bible says for us to be generous, to be hospitable um, to strangers, and to spend time with our families. The Bible calls for us to evangelize and preach the gospel, make disciples, and just be loving. But we can do that any time of the year. Um, we don't have to wait to like give gifts or join with our families or preach the gospel. So I just need um, Christians just to be bold. So um, use the holiday as you see fit. Um, but do know this, 80 to 90% of people who have never attended church um, or don't ch attend church regularly say they have never been invited. So we have a lot to a work to do. All right. Um, thank you for watching and supporting. Um, come back um, next week where I am covering what does the Bible say about family and uh, practical tips and ways to actually grow closer to your family during this holiday season and yo i just um thank you for watching um everything important is in the description box below um up here make sure to subscribe um overhead um click the bell notifications so you're notified with all new videos um my latest videos are over here um playlists that you should check out are over here and then other good content are in this general area so uh, remember that God blesses people by using people to bless people. So how have you been a blessing to someone else today off of social media? Thanks for watching.